What's up, Sickle Cell Warriors? It's Dr. O, and the grind never stops. Uh, today in this video, we're going to talk about how to increase the hydroxyurea dose and when it is most appropriate to increase hydroxyurea dose. And uh, essentially, Sickle Cell Warriors, this is very important if you're taking hydroxyurea because it allows you to optimize your dose and make sure that you're taking full advantage of the medication. Essentially, the goal when we're taking hydroxyurea is to increase the hemoglobin F levels and maximize that to as high as we possibly can because the higher our hemoglobin levels are, the more likely are that we'll, less, we'll have less sickle cell crises. This medication right here is a medication that I take every single day, hydroxyurea. And I personally take three pills a day. Um, you know, depending on your circumstances, you may not be taking hydroxyurea, or you may be taking one pill a day or two or three, however. But in this video, we're gonna pretty much clarify what's the right dose for you to take. So this drug right here, comes in a uh, 500 milligrams and essentially there's different strengths that we can take we can take the 500 milligram we can take the 1000 milligram we can take the 1500 milligram or we can take the 2000 milligram and essentially the difference between each of these doses is you're, you're either taking one capsule two capsules three capsules or four capsules. The initial dose that we should be taking is 15 milligrams per kilogram per day. And so um, for the sake of math, let me give you an example. If we weigh, if you weigh 150 pounds about, right? <laughs> that means that you weigh about 68 kilograms. And if we times that by 15, <clears throat> that's about 1000 milligrams. So if you're around 150 pounds, <clears throat> you should be taking two capsules a day and that's for your yourself the goal of this is to actually try to take as month as as high of a dose as you possibly can because hydroxyurea hydroxyurea is such an effective medication me personally i take three capsules a day and if you can oh if you can increase your dose i always recommend the increase in your dose because it drastically decreases the chances of you getting a sickle cell crisis. At least it has for me, and I believe it does for a lot of sickle, other sickle cell warriors. If you're taking one or two capsules a day, depending on your weight, you should try to slowly increase that. Uh, you know, as you start to take the medication over time, your body will get used to it, and that will allow you to slowly titrate and increase the dose. And so, um, the only thing that will possibly stop us from being able to maximize our dose is something called a low white blood count. And that's essentially when there's um, platelets or neutrophils are, are, are very low. And uh, essentially what our white blood cells do is it enhances our immune function so that our body is healthy. So if our white blood cell count is very low, it increases the chances of us getting more sick. And essentially one of the side effects of hydroxyurea is it does lower your white, your white blood cells. And so then the question becomes, how do I know if my white blood cells count is too low? And I have the numbers for you. And when you're looking at your lab report, now you can actually look at it and have a better understanding. Um, in the future, I definitely plan on making a full video on how to read lab reports. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go over the platelet counts. So for your platelet counts, you want that number to be over 95,000 at least. Uh, and that kind of ensures that you are having a good, healthy uh, white blood cell count. And you also want your neutrophil count to be over 2,500. Those are healthy white blood cell levels. Anything a little bit less than that is you starting to head towards a little bit towards danger. Your doctor should be helping you monitor that as well. Before I end this video, sick so worries, I just kind of want to tell my personal story with increasing hydroxyurea doses. If y'all know, like, you know, when I was a kid, I used to constantly be sick with sickle, cell, with sickle cell crises and be in and out of the hospital until I took hydroxyurea. And back then, when I was taking hydroxyurea, I was incredibly small. Uh, you know, I was incredibly small, very skinny, and um, I think at the time I was only able to take like one pill a day because of my weight. And so um, I really wanted to just take as many hydroxyurea as I can because this pill 
pretty much stopped me from getting crises. So I kept going to the doctor every couple of weeks saying, hey doctor, when can I um, increase my dose? And they're like, ah, oh, sorry, you're too little. Like, you know, you gotta you gotta come back when you when you gain more weight. And this cycle kind of keep kept happening. I'll go back, hey doctor, can I can I increase my dose now? They're like, no. Or sometimes they'd be like, no, your white blood cell count is, is too low, you know. But um, after consistently um, showing them how and persistent I was, they finally did allow me to increase my dose. Once my dose increased, I noticed an increase in energy and a decrease in sickle cell crises. So that's just my personal experience with hydroxyurea. Sickle cell words, I'm completely aware that hydroxyurea doesn't work for everybody, but for those who it does work for, I'm speaking to you. And I'm just kind of giving advice on when to know when to you want to increase your dose because if you can make sure you're taking the optimal dose, that will give you the optimal health. So uh, Sickle Cell Warriors, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, also, if you really wanna talk to me and gain some advice about Sickle Cell, I'm offering free consultations. All you gotta do is click the link in the description in the box below and schedule a time. And uh, I will gladly take a consultation with you and try to help you to the best of my abilities all right sickle servers i love y'all stay blessed and talk to you later bye